Well, hello, YouTube. Um, a few months ago, I made a video of my experience using Freedom Pop. Just to give a quick uh, rundown, what was going on at that time was my daughter, who's 12, needed a phone. Uh, we wanted something inexpensive because uh, at that time I was unemployed, or not unemployed, but I was working only part-time, didn't have a full-time job. So we wanted to have a phone that was somewhat inexpensive and a plan is at least expensive as possible. In this case, uh, with Freedom Pop, the plan was $0 a month. Did come with certain limitations, and for us, as it turned out, those limitations were too limiting. Um, so we ended up buying the, uh, the uh, Samsung uh, S3 uh, for $200. Um, and then, like I said, the plan itself was free. The, when I say the limitations were too limiting, here's what I mean. One example was that in order to, use, uh, to make sure we didn't go over our uh, data, because we're only given uh, with that plan, as I recall, 500 megabytes of data, well, what we did, what I had my daughter do was make sure that she kept data turned off, mobile data turned off, unless she needed it. That way we were assured that the phone would be forced to use Wi-Fi for any web surfing that she would do. Um, now, once she left the house, she could turn on mobile data and uh, if she needed to do some type of web search. But uh, again, she likes to have Facebook and some other apps on there. And if anybody knows anything about Facebook, Facebook uh, will constantly be polling the Internet to make sure that there aren't any new updates that you have to be notified of right now. Um, so, uh, like I said, had her, I had her turn that off unless she was actually surfing and looking for something in particular. Well, what I didn't know, and I don't know if this is a limitation of this particular phone, if it's a limitation of the plan itself or some type of limitation with Sprint, because uh, Freedom Pop does use Sprint as their, uh, to handle all their cellular data and, and calls. Um, or maybe it's some type of limitation with Freedom Pop itself. But anyways, what I'm getting at is with mobile data turned off, uh, my daughter was not able to send or receive any calls. Um, and why mobile data has to be on for you to make a call when it's using the cellular network, I don't understand. Um, maybe, it, maybe there's some type of exchange that has to be done over the mobile data letting Sprint know, hey, this is an MDNO, um, let me on the network or something. I don't know, but that was a limiting factor. Um, I don't want my daughter not to be able to make a phone call or and or myself or her mother be able to contact her because she forgot to turn on mobile data or didn't turn on because she's not surfing at that point. Um, the other thing is, and again, this could be a limitation of, of the, my Wi-Fi network at home. It could be a limitation of... Um, the software that's on the phone because again Freedom Pop does put their own software on the phone but uh, what I'm getting at is even on Wi-Fi the service wasn't all that great um, I use for myself I have a plan with Verizon I keep that plan because I'm on the old style of service where I have unlimited data so it doesn't matter whether I use 2 gigs this month or 10 gigs or 20 gigs, it's the same price for me. My wife has T-Mobile through Walmart, which is their Walmart family plan. And then, like I said, we had our daughter on the Freedom Pop. In fact, she's still on Freedom Pop. But uh, anyways, when I talked to my daughter, you know, oh, what I was getting at is, um, so I didn't use my minutes talking to her. I always had her call me using Hangouts. That way, it's I again you have unlimited data, so it doesn't matter whether I'm here uh, at my residence using Wi-Fi or if I'm out on the road. She can talk to me. It doesn't cost me anything additional. Um, then, uh, as long as she's within Wi-Fi, there's no data being used on her end. The problem was that even using Wi-Fi. 
the um, phone call was choppy, wasn't always that great, um, and sometimes wouldn't connect at all. Then also when she was making calls, when she would, when I would talk to her using the cellular data, I actually uh, whether it didn't matter whether it was cellular or Wi-Fi, it was very common for the calls to be dropped and or un in, 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 unintelligible. So because of those limitations, I finally decided to switch my daughter over to the same plan my wife has, uh, the Walmart family, um, I think they call it family mobile plan. Um, it's about $40 a month for my wife's phone, I think is what the plan is, $40 and there's some taxes and fees and whatever, it comes to forty-four sixty-eight or something like that. She gets unlimited data, unlimited talk, and unlimited uh, text messaging. There is some throttling, but she's never reached that limit, or if she has, she hasn't said she's ever, she hasn't told me she's had a problem. My uh, daughter will now go on as a second phone on that plan, and if I'm not mistaken, I don't have the plans up in front of me, I think it's $30 to add her onto that plan. And she also gets unlimited talk, unlimited text, and unlimited data. Again, it will be throttled at some point, but so far that hasn't been a problem with my wife, and I assume that's not going to be a problem with my daughter. Um, we'll have to see. I'm still staying with Verizon, as I said, because I have unlimited 4G data with them. Um, there's really no reason for me to change at this point. So anybody that's wondering what's going on, this is what's going on. We haven't actually made the switch yet, uh, but we will be. We've already purchased the phone. Uh, we just haven't uh, purchased the SIM chip and uh, switched over to T-Mobile. Thanks a lot.